dear friends, this is Kaylee and I'm the founder of the Healing Sound Arts program and also the creator or founder of Vibrations of Joy. You can go to my website, vibrationsofjoy.com to learn more about me or to find out what courses I'm going to be offering soon. And one of them coming up is an abundance course. It's called Abundance Now, Embodying Abundance Through Sound, Healing and Frequency. And uh, I hope I get to meet you on the course. So today I wanted to talk about um, how we are magical beings and we create through our um, intentional frequency that we were putting out in the world and also through our action. And for many years, my old self was always someone who loved creating beauty in spaces. You know, um, I would love to just make things so beautiful. And I felt like through making things physically beautiful, what I was doing was shifting the energy around, even though I didn't have the languaging for it back then. And I always used to rearrange my room as a child and I shared a room with my sister. And unfortunately for her, every time that she would come home, she would find her furniture in a different place or her belongings like you know, she couldn't find anything because I just would recreate this like whole uh, atmosphere, you know, this whole beautiful display of different things. And, um, and the room would be completely altered into a new place. And I felt like when I was doing this, I was like skipping into another dimension. And my sister didn't like that very much, but um, I think she forgives me by now, hopefully. <laughs> so another thing that I really loved to do was I loved cleaning. And so I would um, clean, I, you know, every time I would move, it seemed like the cleaning that the person had done before or the apartment building, it just wasn't up to my standards. So I would go through, I would clean every little corner. I would go around, you know, uh, left to right, top to bottom, around the whole space. And as I was cleaning, I felt like I was cleaning things away that weren't just maybe the residual dirt on the... Um, or the physical dirt on the counters or, or in the cabinets or whatever. But I felt like there was something else I was cleaning and clearing. And I really was. Another thing that I love to do is always, um, you know, merchandising jobs. And I know it sounds strange and it, it often seems like, you know, uh, that wouldn't be a very glamorous job or, you know, it wouldn't be a very desirable job, but for me, I absolutely loved it. I worked at Macy's in the display department and in the merchandising department, and I just loved folding the shirts just so, making everything look beautiful, organizing. That's another thing I love to do is to organize everything. Well, it turns out these things came very naturally for me. I don't even think I could explain to someone or teach someone what I was doing and everyone would comment, wow, look what you did. You took this thing that was like totally decrepit. We were almost gonna throw it away and you turned it into this beautiful masterpiece. You know, so I would get compliments all the time and I was just doing this naturally and it felt really good. And then when you would, after you would clean a space, you'd go in and there's a different feeling about it, right? Because it turns out it wasn't just cleaning physical, I was cleaning and clearing energetic, and I was bringing in my heart, and I was loving the work, and so I was bringing in the frequencies, and I was feeling into what was already there that was maybe um, residual energy, or maybe energy of another person that used to live there, and it needed to be sent back, and I was had a sense, a really strong sense that I was doing this, but I never had the words to put to what I was doing ever since I was a little child. And so um, many of you might know that I, um, Elmine the Seer is one of my teachers and I, I love Elmine the Seer. And oftentimes I really feel like I'm connected to her and she's my soul sister because oftentimes she'll come out with a post or I'll hear a talk or a workshop and she mentions exactly the experience that I had been experiencing. Now, what she had mentioned that really goes along with the story that I'm sharing with you is that we are the proxy magicians. These original ones, these light workers 
that are very powerful that have come to the planet to uplift the rest of humanity and the planet and and earth um, into a higher way of being um, we're kind of leading the way we're like the original ones and she mentioned this thing about proxy magic and she mentioned about how when we heal ourselves or shift something within ourselves then it automatically will ripple out into um, the consciousness of whatever is around so it goes out into humanity out into the earth and it lifts um, the planet up to a higher level and i was so um appreciative that I had heard this. It was exactly what I needed to hear. It was like a confirmation of who I always was and of what I was always doing, but I could never put words on it. And so the proxy magician, the magical light worker being, will clean out a junk drawer and they'll have an intention. Um, cleaning out this junk drawer because I want to clear out all the junk all the thoughts that's going on um, of stress in humanity. Maybe there's stress in humanity, which we know there is. <laughs> so you could be clearing something out within yourself, your own stressful thoughts, your own busy mind through the junk drawer. So as you're cleaning and organizing, you're, you're moving things around, you're alchemizing something from a lower form into a higher form, you're feeling into this energy, and by the way, if you're really connected to sound healer, if you are a sound healer or you've always wanted to be a sound healer or you love healing through sound, chances are you are here as um, someone who should be working with frequency. And that's very much, uh, we're very much proxy magicians because when we become, embody the frequency that we feel is the highest and best for the situation, but then we um, move in and alchemize the things that are not that, then we are shifting things to a higher level by proxy. And so um, another thing that um, I know that I've been here to bring is to help bring more feminine energy to the planet, to help embody, when I embody that feminine energy, it helps to raise people up um, and have them more, have more consciousness of the feminine energy. And, and how it's needed and to get people more in touch with their feelings because sound healing is all about frequency. It's all about frequency. It's all about feeling the, the feelings within you, the feelings of the environment, the feelings of others and helping to raise those up to a higher level.